So on Tuesday the 28th of September 2020, my phone started ringing off the wall. Texts, emails, messages, everything. And I didn't have a clue what it was about. And then I checked my messages and saw that Income School are doing a case study on fish keeping. <laughs> so let's have a look at what's going on. So it's now Tuesday morning, Tuesday the 29th of September, and I've kind of got over the initial shock of finding out that Income School have bought a case study site. Uh, it's one of their uh, pupils, a Project 24 member, whose site was doing really well, and then it got hit by the uh, May Call update, and the traffic just tanked and went straight down. And they've bought the site, and they're going to produce a case study around it, by the sounds of it, where they're going to pick the... Uh, website back up, get it ranking and try and make some uh, some more money and get some more traffic from it. So after several strong cups of tea, I'm over the shock and over the initial fear and worry. And a lot of you have been asking kind of what am I going to do? You know, you know, am I angry about it? Am I, you know, going to fight back or anything like that? Well, no. I mean, my website, as you know, fishkeepingforever.com also got hit by the May Core update. And if you have a look at the screenshot now, I'll show you the site that they've bought and you can see a significant decline in traffic. They looks like there was at about 25, 30,000 page views and then suddenly May Core update hits and it's a slow death and decline of the website and all the uh, articles look like they started to de-rank and went down to around three or 4,000 page views a month by the looks of it. Now, if you look at my graph, it's very, very similar. Now, this is a free tool, it's Uber Suggest, and it only shows you organic traffic. Now, I use this because it does filter out all the social traffic, all the paid traffic, uh, things like that. So you just get a clear idea of the organic traffic that a website has and if I'm ever looking how well a website's doing that's literally what I look at I just look at the organic traffic so I know the numbers on this Uber Suggest 2 are not amazing they're not absolutely spot on in fact whatever the organic traffic says you have it's usually double 25% to 50% more than what it actually says but it gives you a visual representation of either the decline of your organic traffic or the increase of your organic traffic. So if any of you don't know what happened on May the 4th, um, May the 4th, it's a little bit ironic, isn't it? If you know Star Wars, may the 4th be with you. Um, you know, it's a bit, I think it's a bit of a sick joke from somebody at Google. Uh, they uh, released a core algorithm update on May the 4th and it either sent your website straight up and you did really well from it or it sent you straight down. And basically what happened is, it de-indexed or de-ranked a lot of your content. Now, it doesn't look like anybody was kind of penalised. You know, you wasn't slapped with any penalties. It doesn't look like it was, oh, this site's done some dodgy backlinking. Let's drag it down there. It just looks like a general broad um, update that uh, de-indexed and de-ranked a lot of articles. And that's exactly what happened on mine. So I'll put a card up in the top corner somewhere where you can see uh, a little bit more detail about what happened to my site and the May Core update. But what happened generally, a lot of fish keeping sites, also pet sites, and it's not just the pet industry, it was across every niche. Um, but particularly the pet niche seemed to get hit quite badly. And I know a lot of people who's got fish keeping sites and they all too are reporting a similar sort of uh, decline in traffic. Varying levels, mind you. So my site saw around a 20% drop in traffic. Now I'm talking articles that was on page one for a year, doing really good, consistent. I could literally tell you how many search traffic they would get every month. I would kind of put my mortgage on it. I knew exactly what it would get every single month. And then the make all update hit and that, that article that was ranking page one, position one or two for over a year, suddenly got sent to page 10 or even the index it wasn't even found in the Google search index. Now, in Income Schools video uh, about the um, new case study that they're going to do, they heavily focused on content and saying that the content because it kind of wasn't good, it wasn't up to par, it hasn't hit the spot. Now, I get that with a lot of pieces of content, absolutely. Uh, and do I have uh, some poor content on fish keeping forever? 
Absolutely, yes, I definitely do. Uh, this is a website I started back right at the beginning of my journey and you know my content writing wasn't as good as it is now and I certainly didn't have a team of writers like I have now. So yes, absolutely, I agree. There's probably maybe 30 or 40% of the content on there that does not hit the mark. However, if that's true, then um, why are some of my articles on page eight, nine and 10 when above them, ranking above them, are articles like car parts. Now I've got one article around goldfish and it ranked page one and it was doing well. It brought in about six or 700 page views per month every month for over a year and now it's sitting on page nine and above it on page seven, eight and nine are things like car parts and home care and things, articles like that. What has that got to do with this goldfish article and the keyword or the topic? So why is Google saying that this article, which is pretty well written, it's 1500 words, written by a decent writer, a good standard, I'd say, you know, on a scale of one to 100, it's probably 92, 93% right, perfect, hits the spot. And why is that on page 10 and car parts and, and car care accessory articles are ranking above it? That doesn't make sense, right? Now that's been the big mystery and the big hoo around this May Core update that it was just so random and so unexplainable that most people don't know what's happened. And I've had several people look at this website. I've had some very high quality SEO experts, and I'm talking world class experts, look at the site. And although they've given me some advice and some things that I can go away and do, they certainly didn't look at the content and said, oh, your content's terrible. No wonder it's on page 10. They didn't say anything like that. They was basically came back to me and said, you know, how are you going to beat this core update? We don't know what this core update was all about. And it's still a bit of a mystery today. My traffic went from 60,000 page views a month down to around 45, 44, 45,000 a month. So I kind of lost 20, 25%, something like that of my traffic. And it's basically plateaued and stayed the same ever since May the 4th. Now at the minute, no matter what I do to it, no matter how many articles I add, no matter how I tweak the articles, go for the snippets, you know, I'm just not seeing any sudden growth back on that website. Now I'm still sticking with the thought process that, you know, Google will reverse this core update. And I know there's a ton of um, other website owners that think the same, that they will realize it, it wasn't rolled out correctly or something's gone. Google will often do a core update and then do a reversal of a core update a few months later. And it normally sees your um, website return back to where it was, even sometimes even stronger. So I'm still in the mindset that that's going to happen uh, when, how long Google's on about doing another big, one of the biggest core updates that they've ever done in January. And I'm hoping when they flick that button or press that um, computer button, that it would just come back to normal or even improve. So to answer everybody's questions about, am I worried about income school and doing that? No, I, I'm not. Good luck to Ricky and Jim. I'm good friends with Ricky and Jim. And um, you know, they got me to where I am now. Them along with Alex over at WP Eagle are kind of my mentors that I look up to. You know, I really respect these guys and they know what they're doing. So, you know, am I worried? No, I'm excited. I want to see, can they turn this website round with just content? You know, can they beat a make or update or a website that's in decline just from writing good content? I hope they can, because if they can, that just literally means I just need to get some more articles, some well-written articles on that website and uh, the traffic should go up. However, I've tried that so far and it's not worked. I've put some, I put another dozen or so articles on there and it's not increased the traffic whatsoever. They're not even ranking. Um, my uh, SERP robot can hardly pick the um, articles up in the SERP index. I have to manually index them on my Google Search Console every day to try and get them to index. There's just some sort of indexing bug, you know. So, you know, will good content fix that? Well, wait and see, hey, very interesting. So I'm not worried, I'm excited. I mean, if they can turn that website around, then maybe I can turn my website around. So um, I wish them all the luck, I wish them all the success. I will certainly be watching that video the minute they bring any updates out and I'll be excited to see what they come up with and maybe it's something I can use. You know, if they find a little uh, nugget of information that turns that website around and you know, they're not gonna be able to hide from the numbers either. We can clearly see from the screenshots I've showed you how much traffic that website gets and uh, if they can turn that around, 
we can all watch and see and uh, see what they've done. So um, good luck to them. All the best. Ricky and Jim at Income School, good luck with your new venture and this case study. And I, I await uh, the results from it. So thanks for joining me. If you're new to the channel and you want to follow this story, then please do subscribe. Hit the little bell icon and uh, you'll be able to follow my journey uh, as well as seeing how Income School do with uh, their new case study. So thanks a lot. I'll see you in the next video.